to present the award for most promising engineer in the military, please welcome the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Strategic Diversity Integration, Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, Dr. Jerris Lewis Taylor, Jr. The United States Air Force B-1B Lancer is one of the most powerful and enduring aircraft platform in the military. Its high speed maneuverability and precision attack capabilities make it one of the first strike aircraft in theater in Afghanistan against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Johan Vicioso, an electronics engineer at the Air Force Global Logistics Support Center in Georgia, can take credit for keeping that aircraft ready for action. Johan is responsible for all engineering requirements of the B-1B automated test stations, which are worth more than $360 million. He is heavily engaged in the development of sustainment support plans and sourcing strategies to meet the warfighter requirements. He provides worldwide technical support and direction on depot, field, and contractor repairs, valued at $5.9 million to ensure B-1B tester availability. His efforts have directly contributed to the Air Force increased operation readiness, which in turn has strengthened defense of our country. Just five years into his career, Johan has been described as an outstanding engineer who truly has exceeded virtually every standard requirement of him. Johan's technical ability surfaced in the Dominican Republic as a teenager when he quickly learned how to repair radios and televisions. He graduated high school at the age of 14 and obtained a scholarship to attend college at Florida State University. Honored guests, it is my privilege to present the award for most promising engineer, a father of a two-year-old daughter and an eight-day-old son. Mom and son are doing well, Mr. Johan Vicioso. As I was reviewing this year's theme, two words stood out, culture and hope. And when the concept of culture first emerged in the 18th century, it connoted a process of improvement. But in the 19th century, it referred to the refinement of the individual through education. But today, in the 21st century, the heart of American culture has redefined this concept to include faith, family, and freedom. That heart continues to beat ever stronger, evident by Latino leadership growth in STEM, in the private and federal sectors, and in the rising percentages of bachelor's and master's degrees awarded to Latinas in science and technology over the last decade. This exemplified by Latino trailblazers such as the men and women that are here tonight, and George Gonzalez, which is the director of engineer of the Warner Robins Logistics Center in Warner Robins, Georgia. Also, by senior executive members, as Mr. Gilbert Montoya, which is the director of the Supply Chain Management Squadron in Warner Robins. These men and the, the men and the women here tonight are the ones that are leading the transformation of global defense of the automotive and medical industry. And you are the vivid signs of hope for the present and for the future of leadership for Latinos in STEM in the USA. God bless you all, y adios sea la gloria. <laughs> 